for original screenplay, Josh Singer and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Hold those numbers high. <laughs> I am going to start with 251 and then go to 132. 132, hold that number up until we get a... Thank you. <laughs> 251, on your right, gentlemen, down front. Do I hear 10? Do I hear 10? Hi, I'm over here. Yeah, so I wanted to ask, do you think, the winning, uh, do you think that winning the Oscar will move the needle at all on the issue of church sex abuse? Yours. Uh, we certainly hope so. Uh, you know, there have been some nice positive developments in the last little while. Uh, the Papal Commission uh, on the Protection of Minors, which is the Pope's Clergy Sex Abuse Commission, uh, screened the film, which we were heartened by. Uh, but we were somewhat disheartened when, two days later, uh, they suspended Peter Saunders, uh, who uh, is, was one of two survivors on the panel. And they suspended him because he'd been advocating for too much change. Well, we think there needs to be more accountability for bishops, and more uh, transparency, uh, because I think they need to do more to protect kids. So we hope that this will spur them to do that. 132 is next, and then we'll go to 185. Hey, Josh. Hey, Tom. Hello. Hey. Hey, Jazz. Hey. Um, so in the past few weeks, you've won the, B the BAFTA Awards, the WGA. How does it feel? How's the experience been for both of you? Um, you know, it's, uh, it's electric. It's really exciting. You spend a lot of time working on this. We certainly don't start a project like this thinking of awards. You think of trying to get it right. And over the course of that time, we come, become very close to everyone involved, the reporters, the survivors, well, a lot of people in Boston, the crew, everyone, and especially this guy, Josh Singer, who I consider a dear friend and a great mind. And uh, to be able to share this with him in this moment with everyone who works so hard, because we think this represents that, uh, it's truly thrilling and rewarding. Uh, the other thing, as a writer, uh, I will speak to the fact that your words and your script, uh, it's never realized without an incredible director. Uh, and so not only have I found an incredible friend, but he's the best director I know. We're going to go to 185 and then down front to 220. Can't see your number, 229. Uh, Meredith Goldstein, Boston Globe. Um, I'm just curious, uh, spending a lot of time in a newsroom, and I know most of you, uh, both of you, did a lot of research there. What was it like to film in a real-life newsroom, and is it what you expected? Um, well, first of all, Meredith, have you spent any time at the Boston? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, it, it was and it wasn't, right? I, I, having played Scott Templeton on The Wire, I had some sense of what a newsroom looks like. Uh, but spending real time with these journalists, and I, I, you know, one thing we didn't, we didn't thank the Boston Globe, and we probably should, because that institution really opened their doors and their hearts to us, really guided us, really helped us every step of the way, right up through shooting. Uh, they were an incredible asset to this movie. Of course, the reporters and the editors uh, were incredibly helpful. And, uh, you know, I think if Josh and I came up with anything from this, is just uh, what uh, hardworking, um, dedicated, curious, and uh, committed professionals these reported reporters are. And, you know, for any profession, you take your hat off to people like that. And for, for us, it felt more like a, a social calling than it did a, a job with these people. And it was incredibly inspirational. Uh, I'm going to 229 and then 13 in the back. 13 needs you to hold that number up. Well, he got, Josh got, That's okay. got, got short. Maybe he wants to add something? Or? No, I just wanted to say that uh, some of the best pieces on the movie have come right out of the Boston Globe from Meredith and from Ty Burr and Janice Page, and so I just want to say we appreciate that. All right, my question. Go ahead. Um, in Broken Don't Fix It, you seem to be having a very thinning combination here, so I wonder what's in the works? with the two of you, for the two of you. What's going to be the next Spotlight? Uh, you mean Spotlight 2? Or whatever. <laughs> um, the sequel. Hey, look, I'd work with this guy again in a minute. Uh, we've been hanging out, but we haven't had a lot of time. This, uh, this award season, as we both have found out, is a, is a full-time job. Spotlight. <laughs> that was the Catholic yeah. Church, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is the power of the Catholic Church. Um, thank God we're protected by Oscars. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't know. We're gonna we're figure something out, and you'll see us again, hopefully, in some 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 form. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Back to thirteen, which we're gonna wrap it up at thirteen. Sorry. Hey, Josh. Uh, congratulations. Back here in the corner, Tom. Congratulations. We met on Thursday when the LA Press Club honored the film with its Veritas Award for Truth. Oh, yeah. and we missed you, Tom, but you were not there. Uh, the Survivors Network has come out with a statement uh, thanking you both 
saying that hundreds of thousands of people can thank the writers of Spotlight because they have stood up now and taken action. What is your message today to the Survivors Network? Snap. Well, we actually spent the morning uh, down at the cathedral. Uh, we were out protesting with uh, probably a good 20, 30 uh, Snap folks. Uh, Tom, me, and Mark Ruffalo came. Uh, and it was very fulfilling to stand there with them and urge the church to take action. Yeah, and our message is, we hear you, you're not alone, there's no shame in this, come out, speak loud, be heard, and save lives. And uh, the, truly the truly great activists in that organization are doing that, led by people like uh, Barbara Blaine and Phil Saviano, uh, Joe Crowley, who was very helpful on this film, and we're forever, forever indebted to them. And uh, I think we all agree, inside and outside the Catholic Church, we've got to do everything we can to protect the children. Thank you, gentlemen, and congratulations. Thank you all. Just a reminder, if I call your number, keep it up there. We can't find you. Thanks.